Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to restore this DIY clock, 3D DIY acrylic clock. So, inside the parcel, we have the banner, both in Chinese and in English, at the front and back to restore. Inside the rectangular box that comes with, we have the uh, digital clock itself. This is the digital clock the machine. That's the battery at the back, but it doesn't come with the battery. So inside the package we have the uh, dials, that is the hour and the second hand and the minute hand. Then inside the package we also have the Roman numerals, the lettering, so we have them. So more letters, they are not arranged, they are just scattered in the template. Then also in the box we have the a form of cardboard paper. That allows you to, to trace the points that the clock luminous are supposed to be. So each each uh, clock design actually comes with different styles of paper of this uh, tracing paper. So it depends on the design you bought. So this particular one it has holes of two different widths. So the actual width for this is 40 centimeter. It also has this control mark it at 35 centimeter. So what you do first is to fix the hour and the followed by the minute and then followed by the second hand. So you are supposed to fit, fit them backward first, then refit them so that they can stay can stay well. So I fix the hour and the minute and then then what you fix last is the second hand so that actually pins everything in place however it comes with battery the batteries at the back but it doesn't come with the battery we have to put battery to make the clock work so you press the, the second hand into place and it stays that way As you can see it Inside the package too comes with a nail, a little nail. So you have to you know, attach the nail to the wall, then with an armor, then hang this on it. After you've hung the machine clock machine on the wall, you put this paper in between it. So and arrange it well. Usually you're supposed to use um cello tape or some form of adhesive to hold the papers to the wall. That is to make it stable, but oh, I, I didn't need that here, so you, you can use that for yours. So, what you do next is to pick the point on the paper. So, make while making sure that the, the pattern paper is as firm and stable as possible. So, you pick the points around where, where your numerals will be that is where your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve will be. So you can use a marker or you can use in my case I use a pen because the pen will still be reflective on my background. So just just to mark anyway, just to mark the point. So as I'm doing in the video. So you do that all around. So you really have to be a bit careful with this because the markings and the holes are in two of two sizes. So if you don't mark the wrong size while going around otherwise uh, when you are fixing the error are fixing just like at this point as that you see I made this mistake by picking that point that is the wrong point it's supposed to be at the back so this is correct but that was wrong it's supposed to be at the back of that so we have two points at 30 30 30 centimeter and 45 centimeter with. So you do that around, you pick it around. That's that's not difficult. What should it be? So you check well that as you are marking, the marking is actually visible on your background. So that, that you are placing your numerals will be no mistake, and you can actually get the uh, circular shape of the clock after putting the hands so after doing that you take out the machine and remove the number and hang 
the clock machine back. And then after I've done this, you can see the markings on the wall. My own, then you take the numerals and start fixing them. So the numerals didn't come after I did that. They, they were just in the template or just anyhow. So you have to open your eyes. I <laughs> want your basic knowledge of numerals. It should be easy for you. So in no particular order, you can put them in any in, 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 uh, the order as you find them. Like mine, I just as I was seeing the as I was discovering the numerals on the templates, so I was just putting it. So I was, I was in order. I was just making sure that it, it, you are matching the correct letter to the correct point, or the correct numerals to the correct point. Sorry. So, and as you are doing it, make sure to remove the there's, there's a, a nylon covering on the face. When you do that, when you remove them, when you remove from the numbers, it gives it the shiny, it reveals the shiny finish to the numerals. So how this works? Uh, at the back of this numeral, there are adhesives there. So the adhesive is strong enough to hold the numerals to. To the to the surface I'm attaching it to. So that is the letter number four. Number number four attaching there. So it's coming up. It's coming up. But well, this is your process it takes about. This is your first time. It takes about thirty minutes. But we know what you are doing probably after around twenty minutes. To get it done. So yeah, I made a mistake. So that shouldn't be there. So I have to remove it. As now letter eight is actually where number seven should be. So I have to remove that number and locate it. I should be very really careful not to make mistake because the this number is actually very fragile. So why doing this actually? Well, one of them broke. So but. My the error was not visible and I was able to mend it and make it usable. So you should be careful about that while doing your own. So that is Roman number eight in the correct placement. So you can see. So I was able to mend that and remove the nylon coming to review the shiny finishing on it. Good, good job. Your job is going. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So, remove the the covering and the battery with the adhesive. Roman number seven. Put it, press it. And it's firm. Believe me. It won't come off. To remove this, you have to actually damage the numerals nicely once it sets. So you have to really be careful about that. Roman number six. So going nicely. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So nicely. I'm getting there. So good. How's it really fun? So it's Roman number two. I 
That's what I should be. Right. Here's a room on the right. X. And then X Men. So I live to the room on the right. Live on. So have to be careful while detaching it. The new areas from the templates because you can actually break them and damage them if you are not careful with the way you do that too. So, yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. The moment I'm feeling wow. proud. Yeah, you see. This is perfect. Perfect, proud. So, that is all that you give myself. Uh, this is good. Now I forgot there's a little piece at this time. So that oh, I didn't nice. remember to attach. So, but this is looking good. So, then I start to attach that. So, T, I, over the M, at the M. So, like that, that was the stop so I had to remove that and put it back. Done, guys. Then the E this time. And voila, that's it. Good job, good job. And the limb is really beautiful. Finish is shiny. So guys, that will do it. Thank you very much. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next video. Bye.